Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Johan from Make Lovia Self Learning Tutorials. Well, in this tutorial, we're going to the topic that how to create a tubular tower. So this is the problem asked by user on the FreeCAD form. This is a sketch asked by the user to get into the four leg tower. So at the end, the result will look something like this. This is the model I just made a time before. So now I'll be sharing uh, this video tutorial with you. So let's begin with it. So we'll start by creating a new file. And we're starting through the sketch of workbench. And now we'll create a new sketch. Let the working plane be outside the front plane. So let's create the legs first. Now just set the symmetric constraint between these two top points and similarly for the bottom points with respect to the y-axis. So you see now they will behave in a similar way. Let's take them to slightly up. Set the horizontal distance between the bottom points. Let it be 4000. You can say the 4 meters. Similarly, the distance between the top two points. Before that, let's fix the angle between this leg to the x-axis. That will be 80 degrees. So, then finally, we can set the horizontal distance with the top points. Let this be 2000 or 2500. 2000 will be okay. So now make the diagonal members here. We'll set the polyline. So to set the constraints here, the vertical distance of this member on the bottom point, let this be around. 2500 mm similarly distance of the top member from the bottom edge let this be 4000 so now close the sketch if we see the sketch from the side view now it is in the straight manner well the user has asked to create this tubular tower in a diagonal manner so what we will do is We'll select the sketch and in data properties will set the angle to minus 80 degrees. So you can see, remember this uh, angle should be equal to the angle of this profile so that we can get the other profile in this similar symmetrical pattern. So now what we will do is we have a macro here. We go to macro options and the macros. Now we have a macro named here macro connect and sweep. So basically, I'll be sharing the link of this macro below in the video. What this macro is, it is created by a user named Mario. He is a very good frequent user. So he created this power, he has created this powerful sweep tool. Basically, it is used to create the sweep profiles connecting the two objects. So we can discuss its installation pattern later. So now let's use this macro. We'll select this macro and execute it. So now what we need to do is we need the tubular profiles here. So we'll get the, select the circular profile here. We will set the radius to 50 mm. Leave the thickness zero only. So now we need to select the extreme two edges, just like this one, this point, and the this point so now create solid so you see how quickly and easily we have obtained obtained the tube here so select this point be careful by selecting the points so now create solid and at last create solid 
so see very quickly we have obtained the diagonal members similarly we go to the outer members here we are keeping the radius of all the members constant that is 50 mm here so now we're done with this now you can quit this macro now what else we can do is we need the same pattern on the opposite side also so what we will do here is let's hide the sketch so we have all these C profiles here we can select this first two legs outer legs and then shift to the part workbench the part options we can create the compound basically what does compound do is it makes them in a single object we can select them easily now now we can change the working plane by going to arc workbench again let the working plane be yz so we go to side view now what we will do is select the compound we will take the mirror of this basically go to draft options and take the mirror so now remember we have taken the bottom two distances of the edges as a 4000 so we want uh, the extra other edge also on the 4000 only so basically the grid size is one meter here so we'll take the mirror from two meters so what is this one meters now the two meters we'll set the reference line here so you see we got the other leg here to one here now we'll create the mirror for these diagonal members also so now first we will create the compounds same the same very same manner go to part workbench make compound so this is a compound here again we will take the mirror arc workbench draft mirror so you see we have got this diagonal members so now the next thing here is we need to have this diagonal members through between these two members also so what basically we will do here is first of all we need to take the clone of this compound so from there or the draft options click on the clone now we have the clone here the clone will stay in its original position only now shift the work plane to the xy that is top shift to the top view so now at present the clone is present the same position only uh, well for the time being let's hide these profiles as we may create some problem so take this compound top view first of all we need to rotate it Setting its edge. So now you see we have rotated it. Now we need it on, on the other side of the members. So we'll shift to top view, select this clone. Oops. So the clone is there only. We have shifted the main compound. So no problem. But we can shift. The compound itself select the move option select its extreme point here and just attach it with the extreme point of the other edge Let's just take the rotation again of the clone only. So now let's move the clone. Remember to select the extreme points. Now just. So you see, we have this one here. And now to get this diagonal member on this side, we can take the mirror of this clone. So going to a draft options, taking the mirror, selecting to this center point, center reference line. So we got the diagonal members here also. Now we'll just taking back 
the parent compound that is this one so see we have got the tubular tower and a with some inclination we are taking 80 degrees here we can change the pattern to the shaded let's hide the grid let's take the view to be perspective the document to be full screen so you can see here how quickly and in an easy manner we have obtained the cube this tubular tower with the inclination and how in another tool we have discussed the macro for the sweep so as you can see how easily and in a very smooth manner this work has been done well thanks for watching you can ask your question in the comments below i'll be happy to answer that well this one will be chohan for make love self learning tutorials goodbye thank you